What's up guys, it's your boy Boa back with another video. I really don't like flying so I'm gonna skip a lot of the airplane stuff. We flew out of JFK, 18 hour flight to Singapore first. Three to four hour layover in Singapore since we got there at 6 a.m. Nothing was open, so we just chilled in the lounge. What's that? Where your tummy? Where your tummy? Tummy, yeah. Tummy. Where's your eyebrow? 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 <laughs> Where's your elbow? Elbow. Back. Where's your knees? Where's your toes? <laughs> Arms. <laughs> Finally landed in Bangkok at around 11 a.m. Hotel staff was waiting for us at arrival. The hotel transport took us to the hospital for a drive through COVID test. After that, we had to be quarantined in the hotel. A few hours later, we got our results and then we were free to go around the city. So actually we got to the room yesterday and I'm just doing the room tour today on the second day. So we already stayed here overnight last night already. So this is Kim Tong Malai. So let's get on with the room tour. The funny thing about this place is that the living room is like the same size as the bathroom. The bathroom is so freaking big. We got this is the luggage area. So this separate bathroom. You got the got a nice double sink right here. Double sink is better than one sink. This is my favorite thing about this hotel room. Really? Really, really big tub. Huge. See, you can see how big this tub is. I think the name of this room is Grand Premium King Room. Supposedly, it's supposed to be like about $200 a night, but since we booked this room like in the beginning of the year, we got it for like $130 a night. Got, got. This room is like a, a corner room, so you get like a lot of windows. 
This is the second best part of the room. Look at this. What are you gonna do with all this space? Just just run around. You don't need to go to the gym. <laughs> so if I run around this about 50 times, that's like one mile, right? I don't know. Anyway, got a nice TV. And then finally, actually this is a pretty nice view. Don't, uh, it's a very nice uh, park down there, but um, I don't know. I, I, is, is the pollution always this, this bad in Bangkok? It's like, look at the sky, it's so like dark. It's gotta be all the pollution. Anyway. So you have the espresso machine. Let me see. Oh, right here. The espresso machine. And then you have snacks here, but the snacks are a little bit extra. All these water here is free. And if you get housekeeping, they will refill it. They will refill you with new bottles every day. There is a refrigerator. We bought the uh, soda and we bought the milk from the 7-Eleven down the street. So, that's it guys. What you see is what you get at Kimpton Malai. I like it. I like this hotel. Hey, go away. Don't break stuff. Don't break stuff. Go. For you. <laughs> Room service just came in under one hour, about 40 minutes. So this is two white rice, still warm. This looks like a fish sauce, chili fish sauce, okay. This is some kind of sauce, I'll check that out later. This is how they keep the food warm. The first thing we have on the menu is bok choy and tofu. Chili bok choy and tofu. And then the second thing on the menu. Hold on, someone's at the door. Mango sticky rice. And wow, this is the dry age something. This is the dry age wagyu ribeye. What else we have? And then we have a tum yum soup. Mm. Looks like a tum yum soup. Woohoo! So we got fried rice, fried rice, chili bok choy and tofu, steak, steak and tum yum two rice. All this is about uh, all this is about three thousand baht. Um, so every 1,000 baht is about $30, so this is 369 so this is about $90 for room service. But you know what? They give you 1,000 baht credit per day. So basically, we just ate three days worth of uh, room service credit in one meal. So, um, but it's okay, I mean, we have no choice, right? We're still in like a quarantine for the rest of the day, so we don't know what to do. Um, uh, so, you know, let's just try, let's just try the, the hotel room service quality. I mean, of course it's gonna be expensive, right? But uh, let's, let's see how it is. Okay, first is the, what is it, 
Right? Really expensive, but really good. The quality is definitely there. Uh, next, let's do a um, Tom Yum. Whoa, look at all these ingredients. Mushroom, shrimp, onions, basil. Uh, it's, it's crazy, like uh, so, many, so many ingredients. A lot of lemongrass. <laughs> this is probably the most authentic Tom Yum I ever ate. <laughs> Good, I like it. Ah, fried rice here. Looks like a regular chicken fried rice. So so, I, I had much better fried rice. Let me see this one. Bok choy, spicy bok choy, and tofu. Uh, fish sauce. So the last one is, whoa, oh, mango sticky rice. Mmm, look at that sauce. Oh my gosh. Mm. We flew. 20 hours and whatever. We flew 20 hours just to eat this. Authentic. This is what you talk about. This is the real mango sticky rice, all right? Alright guys, so it's now 11 o'clock, right? 11 o'clock. And uh, so we all the restaurants closed, so we have to eat some 7-Eleven food. Let's see what we got. We got some uh, spaghetti. Oh, by the way, everything you get at 7-Eleven, you can ask them to heat it up and they'll heat everything up and you, you can just bring it to your, to your hotel room. Spaghetti. Good. Hmm. The chicken, spicy chicken basil. Mm. Is it spicy? A little bit. Mm. A little bit, yeah. A little bit spicy. Mm. And then you have a macaroni, spicy macaroni, chicken. With soy sauce. You see, you see it's black like that, right? It's a lot of soy sauce. And then you have um, <laughs> chow siu, chow siu and rice. Chow siu look like chicken to me. No, chicken, chicken, chicken. I like this one. This one's good. Mm -hmm. And then we have a lot of um, breakfast, like, like um, you see that? Like, um, what is it? Toast, toast and cheese, toast and cheese. Just um, toast, cheese, and salt, and hot dog. <laughs> no, really good. All this, oh, and with a lot of water, we bought a lot of salsa water. I really, I really wanted to try this one right here. I've never seen this before. Japanese plum. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, very good. Exactly like a plum. Okay, this is um, this is one of my favorite things. This reminds me of um, Japan Seven Eleven. And then now, when I see it in, in 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 Thailand, oh what? Oh, I should have asked them to heat this up. 
Because look what happened. There's actually, not only they have egg, they have pork in there. So it's like a pork, pork stew. But since we didn't heat it up, now it's like, you know, it's like that. If you want a good meal, you just get this and you get a white rice. Right? You get a white rice, you put this over white rice. Oh, I could imagine it's really good. But now it's like it's so frozen. I still eat it. Still good. Still good. It's not bad. <laughs> Actually, when you put when you put it into your mouth, it melts already. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> this is a pineapple. Pineapple. Okay. Hey, this is not seltzer water. This is a juice. I thought it was seltzer water. But it's juice and there's like little pieces of pineapple inside. It's all right. It's, ref it's refreshing. Um, but I like this one better. Because this is like a sparkling water with, with a plum. Yeah, this one's good. This one's good. That's it for the first night in Bangkok, guys. There's nothing much I can show you. Um, see you tomorrow. So, you can't read anything because it's on Thai. Everything, 541 baht. The hotel has a very nice garden area where you can enjoy your coffee and drinks. It was very nice and refreshing to see all this greenery. If you walk through this area, there's a supermarket available at the end. There's so much more to this hotel which I will show in later videos of this trip. Overall, I feel this hotel is very modern and very well managed. The staff are very professional and will always greet you when they see you. Also, when you are leaving or returning to the hotel, there is always staff ready to help you with your bags and open the door. I can tell you with great confidence that this is the best hotel I've ever been to. That's the end of Bangkok trip part 1. Thanks for watching. I see you guys in the next episode. Have a nice day.